Hey everyone, welcome back to Garnet Reviews and today we're checking out a 2013 Hampton Endurance 680 that was on display at this year's Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. This one was on display through Seattle Yachts and offers tremendous saving both in time and money compared to new but as I walk around this yacht it's hard to imagine that she's not a new vessel. A few short steps up from the bathing platform takes you to the aft cockpit here you'll find a perfect setup for entertaining family and friends, including a drop-down TV. And Hampton have a clever design where they've got a day head on the outside, so that way you don't need to go all the way through the accommodation. And this is particularly advantageous if you've been swimming or diving. In both the port and starboard quarters, you're going to find a docking station. You'll get engine controls as well as joystick controls here. So although this one measures 6 to 8 foot in length, we have beam at 18 feet 8 inches and a draft of 5 feet 5 inches, it's very much easy to be handled as a husband and wife team. You feel safe and secure walking around the deck, you've got the high guardrails on the outside, you get the overhang that's illuminated from the flybridge overhead, and as we get closer to the bow, notice all the storage compartments that's up here. This is great whether you're looking at storing seat covers or if you want to keep certain safety apparatus and you've also got your bow lines and things like that and all these doors and hatches have got great locking mechanisms so you don't need to worry about them popping open while the boat's underway on the bow itself we've got seating up here there's storage under those seats we've also got clear deck space which is ideal if you want to lay out here we've got a deck wash system and then the windlass that you see here was replaced in 2022 and can be operated from the bow but it can also be operated from the helm and as I pan round, she's such an impressive yacht. This one is 10 years old and she's still turning heads in the boat show. And I love those dark tinted windows. Once you get inside, you don't actually feel like it's got a dark tint on it, but you know that's protecting all the woodwork as well as giving you extra privacy. Those dark tints will also help with the air conditioning, keeping everything cool. But all the air conditioning and ductwork has been replaced over the past couple of years. And I was also impressed with the teak decking that's on this one. Um, I was barefoot walking around the yacht, and it doesn't get hot the way some of the other decks do. And it was roughly 90 degrees whenever I was on board, so I was expecting it to be a lot warmer than it was. And to help with docking, not only does this have joystick controls, but it's got a 33 horsepower bow and stern thruster. And I love that large hardwood table with the compass rose inlay, and this has actually got a fridge that's built into the base of it keeping all your refreshments close at hand for your family and friends. Then once you step inside the main saloon, there's a lot to take in. I love the headroom, I love the natural light that comes through those windows. As I said, it doesn't feel like it's got dark tint when you're inside. You've got a 42 inch pop-up TV, plenty of very comfortable seating in here, and all the materials are finished to a very high standard, whether that's the woodwork, whether it's the carpets, the seats, it just feels like one of the most elegant yachts I've featured on my channel to date. As well as that pop-up TV, we also have a Bose sound system. It's got a DVD player, MP3, with speakers throughout the yacht, inside and out. Making our way forward, we've got the built-in wine cooler. And then you've got a very large and spacious galley on the starboard side. You've got granite countertops throughout. All the appliances are GE, you've got the electric cooktop, you've got a 27 inch oven, you've got the full height American fridge freezer. And again notice the drawers and cabinets, they all have that push button locking mechanism so there's nothing opens when the boat's underway. You've got the all important coffee maker and then you've got a convection microwave oven overhead. Those steps are then easy access up to the flybridge which I'll show you later on. But making our way forward, this one doesn't have a lower helm. Instead, they've got a great viewing area, which doubles up as a dining area. And those forward windows, they've actually got electric blinds in them. So that way you can open and close them for extra privacy as well. And one design feature I always love with Hampton Yachts is the bar stools at the galley. Notice how the legs of them latch into place. As much as this is a stunning yacht to look at, it's not all about cosmetic details, there's very much strength and integrity into everything that goes into this yacht. There's a spiral staircase leading down to the lower accommodation and I love the decor that's in this one throughout. Everywhere you look there's just a touch of class. 
So to begin with, on the bow is where you're going to find the VIP stateroom. This has got an island queen berth. There's drawers and storage under the bed itself. You do have an opening hatch overhead as well as the portholes on either side. And there's plenty of storage, including the overhead cabinets. And this has got direct access to the guest head compartment. You can also access this through the main passageway. And this is probably a good time to point out this one carries a fresh water capacity of 400 gallons, but there is a water maker on board. And it also has a tidal wave by Headhunter sewage treatment plant on board. And this basically treats the waste and it's odor free and is approved to be pumped out overboard at the push of a button. And then back in the VIP stateroom, if I close the main door to this cabin, you'll see there's a 27 inch flat screen TV mounted on the bulkhead. But we also have a large cedar lined hanging locker for additional storage. Making our way aft on the port side of the yacht is where you're going to find the mid guest stateroom. This has got side by side berths, but it's actually got a custom insert that you can put between the beds, and then that way you've got one large oversized berth instead. Again, there's plenty of natural light and ventilation from the opening portholes. There's plenty of storage throughout. And there's a 20 inch TV mounted on the bulkhead in here too. Heading aft just before we get to the owner's stateroom is where you're going to find the laundry facilities. This has got both a washer and dryer built in. Not only can you keep your clothes clean, but that's also going to give you fresh towels and linens whenever you need them. And then the owner's stateroom. This is one of the best staterooms I've featured on my channel to date. It's got a king size bed. And this has got drawers and storage underneath. There is plenty of storage in here for long term or liveaboard use. I was impressed with all the lighting in here. And the lighting actually comes with dimmer controls. And these are all LED lights as well. This stateroom boasts a 32 inch TV mounted on the bulkhead. We've got a vanity station that would also double up as a desk. And look at the quality of the woodwork as you get a close up here. And how many times can you honestly say you've been on a yacht where you can talk about a walk-in closet? At around 8 knots this yacht has got a range in excess of 2000 nautical miles. And this is definitely equipped and designed to be a boat to spend extended periods of time on board. And then as I make my way around to the other side of the stateroom, you get a sense of just how big this cabin actually is. But on the opposite side of the stateroom is where you're going to find the master head compartment. And here you've got a stall shower. This has got a Corian seat. You've got the Corian countertop and floors. And it's definitely one of the most spacious heads compartments I've ever been in. So there's plenty of room to be able to use that toilet and shower. And plenty of comfort. And then if we make our way back up, you'll see that inlay that's on the flooring. You'll see the courtesy lights that's on the steps. The hand holds it's in place to make getting up and down the stairs easy. Notice how deep and soft the carpet is. And then from here we can easily lead up to the flybridge itself. As this yacht only has one main helm position, I like how accessible the flybridge is for everybody on board. In this section of the flybridge, it's fully air conditioned. You get very comfortable seating for your family and friends with a large cockpit table. There's storage underneath all those seating. And although this does have a solid hardtop, there's plenty of hatches for extra ventilation. And you've got one very impressive helm up here. You see we've got a number of handheld devices included. But you're also looking at two GPS map 7215 multifunction displays. You've got the wireless remote control. We've got autopilot, you've got three video cameras, there's two in the engine room, and there's also a wide angle on the aft deck. We've got the forward looking infrared night vision camera with a wide angle lens. And you've got sonar, transducers, you've got AIS receivers, VHF radios, and full engine instrumentation. And as well as having opening hatches for ventilation overhead, I also have a drop down panel here that's got a 30 inch flip down flat screen TV. So if you wanted to go island hopping through the Caribbean, or if you wanted to cruise up and down the eastern seaboard, can you think of a better yacht than this for comfort for family and friends? And before you answer that, we'll head out onto the aft deck. And out here, this has got a deck crane that you can use to launch and retrieve a tender, but it's also been used for entertainment purposes. And I like the fact that out here you have got a full grilling station 
outdoor. That way you don't have to worry about carrying food up and down those stairs from the galley. And this grilling station also includes a full wet bar with a sink, but it's also got refrigeration here too. And you'll see we've got the board and ladder stored safely, we've got the life raft, and that deck cranes an 1800 pound hydraulic davit, it's got the power lift and power rotate. So you could clear all this out and you could get a decent sized jet ski or a rib up here. And you do also have ladder access back here to the main deck, so you can access the flybridge without going through the inside accommodation. And then if we make our way back through, we'll go through the flybridge, back down those steps to the main accommodation area. And just next to the main entrance to the saloon, that's actually where you're going to find the stairway access that leads down to the crew quarters. You can close this off completely for extra privacy. And again, the stairway down has got plenty of handholds in place to make this passageway safe and secure. And you're going to find two bar stools at the crew galley. Plenty of countertop space here. You've got a built-in sink. Now if you wanted to, that main door that you see on the aft, that leads straight out to the bathing platform. So you can access this directly without going through the accommodation. And the heads compartment on this one is split. So on one side you have got the toilet, you've got the sink. Plenty of space in here for your toiletries and personal belongings. And on the opposite side is where you're going to find the shower compartment. I personally like that it's split, that way you've got more room to use either section. And as part of the crew galley, this one does come complete with a chest freezer. And you get a very comfortable and spacious crew cabin. This has got the bunk bed system, but the top bunk folds down to make a sofa. Got natural light and ventilation as well as artificial lighting. Plenty of storage. We got another TV mounted on the bulkhead. And then I love the fact that this yacht has got full walk-in engine room access. As I open the door to get in the engine room, look at how thick the door is from the sound insulation. And then as I step into the engine compartment, remember this is yacht is 10 years old and you'd swear this was a brand new yacht on demonstration. So on either side you're going to find a Kohler generator within a sound shield. One is a 23 kilowatt and the other is a 15 and a half kilowatt. The main engines are twin Caterpillar C18. These are approximately 930 horsepower each. In the right conditions, flat out, this one is going to do speeds close on 20 knots. And she carries just over 2,000 gallons of fuel. And these engines have benefited from the full 2,000 hour service. And she's very much ready to go. I love the amount of room that's in here, that way if you're ever doing servicing and maintenance it's so much easier to do. There's great ventilation in here and the engine room itself is fully air conditioned. So if you were in the market for a luxury yacht that you can invite family and friends on board for but at the same time you can operate as a husband and wife team, can you think of a better example than this? I'd like to thank Seattle Yachts for allowing me the opportunity to come on board. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments, if you can leave a comment down below. If you haven't done so already, hit that like and subscribe button and I'll look forward to catching you on the next one. Thanks everyone.